Hey man, Hebron Ben Bala coming back at you with another edition of this Boomer's Logic, man. Uh, just wanted to share this quick thing. I, I'm going to start uploading like this a lot, man, because I've been experiencing a lot, been having a lot on my mind. As you can see, it's still early. I'm out and about, man, doing my thing. Uh, I want to talk about this Tiffany Griner thing. I think that's her name, Tiffany Griner, the basketball girl. I've talked about it before, and I, I might be talking a little loud. It's because of you know how it sounds in the car so i need to talk a lot louder in here because of the audio so but before i start to talk about this uh like always man if you haven't already go to the channel boomers logic subscribe hit the bell for notification you know like the videos comment all that stuff like i say it's dark you know what i'm saying but i'll be in the light here in a second but um i want to talk about this this Tiffany Griner thing. So, I, you know, when I'm out and about doing my thing, I like listening to sports talk radio. And that's that's my thing. I like listening to sports talk radio. I like listening to uh, see what's going on in the world of sports, college football, all that type of stuff. That's my thing. I don't really listen to a lot of political talk. You know what I'm saying? I, I look on that on YouTube, catch up with what's going on or whatever, whatever, and comment on it. I don't get entrenched or immersed in that particular uh, thing. Not why I'm out and about. Um... So this morning, Sarah Spain, uh, this talking head for ESPN, and some other muckety mucks over there are talking about uh, this whole Griner situation in Russia. Now, here's what struck me as odd: the new buzzwords that they're throwing up to trigger people. Uh, now they're calling her a captive. She's being held unlawfully. She's uh, a prisoner. A political prisoner uh she's being detained unlaw all these buzzwords the biggest one was she's a captive you know uh <laughs> i just laughed man i'm telling you i laughed the whole time i'm listening to these clowns because i'm saying to myself um aren't y'all aware that this woman made a comment she made a statement she admitted her guilt and said yeah i took it in it's mine it belongs to me I packed it unknowingly, you know what I'm saying? That's that's her thing. Whether she packed it unknowingly or not, she's telling you, I did this. I'm guilty. I'm pleading guilty. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can do because, you know, they're calling it a dog and pony show and, oh, it's just a dog and pony show. How, is it, how in the hell is it a dog and pony show? How is she being detained illegally? How is she a hostage? How is she a political prisoner? How is she any of this? And the woman told you. The woman told you that she did it. She said, yeah, I packed it. My fault, yeah, that's mine. You know what I'm saying? Just because, see, here's the problem once again. Y'all think that y'all should be able to do whatever the hell you want, wherever you want to do it, and that's not how life works. Life has consequences. Now, I'm gonna tell, I, I wanna speak to you hypocrites who are pointing across because all you're really doing is trying to, uh, further your career by jumping on this you know train by doing this you know by voicing an opinion i seen al sharpton's uh snake in the grass uh vampire predator uh behind on the plat podium the other day where they were uh saying that this woman was a she's a hero and she's a hero and we are all her as blacks and this, no we ain't because I would never go to Russia and take some some uh, some weed there. So I'm not her. She's not me. She doesn't represent me. You know what I'm saying? First off, she's in the LBGT. Nobody in the LBGT represents me. I don't agree with anything they got going on. So how is she a representative of me? So when I was incarcerated for selling dope, I was a representation of y'all. That's y'all some backwards stupid. Let me tell you something else. There was a man named Dawu that I was incarcerated with. Jack, you remember Dawu. So, Dawu was a Black Panther. His story was really well known. He had all kind of lawyers on his case because Dawu was supposed to have been home like 10 years ago. But they wouldn't let him go because he was a Black Panther. See, y'all don't speak on this because you don't believe with his political... Y'all don't align with his political views because the Black Panther Party was looked at as radical and racist. So, but... Nonetheless, Dawu died in prison. He was supposed to have been out 10 years. They held him, held this man 
after his sentence was supposed to be up. The man that did all like 30 years. And they still had him incarcerated. Still had him incarcerated. They would do stuff with him like let him go. Like literally he sat down and told me a story that one time once his sentence was up, they took him literally and walked him out the front gates of the prison only to lock him up on the steps again, rearrest him and take him back into prison and put him back in his cell for no justifiable reason. Now that's illegal detainment. That's a political prisoner. That's being held captive. That's what all that is. So for y'all to sit here and talk about this girl, Tiffany Griner, as if she didn't do anything wrong when she did, when you got people right here on your own soil that I was incarcerated with, who being held against their will that sentence has been up but they got them locked up in holes and stuff stuff like that so they don't have a voice that you can hear. I just gave you an example. Go Google Dawu. The man was incarcerated past his sentence and they wouldn't let him go. You got this going on right here, but you, anything that will advance your careers, this is the stuff that you speak on. This is what you speak on, seriously. You won't speak on the Dawus of the world and the individuals who were being incarcerated and held unjustly. What about the Cubans, the Cuban crisis they had go on? You know, uh, when the, all them Cubans got, they were detained illegally. Yeah, the ones that got sent over here by Castro. You know, the Scarface movie, yeah, that was real. They had them dudes in USP Atlanta. That's how USP Atlanta got burnt down the first time. That's history, that's facts. They locked them people up in USP Atlanta and gave them no out dates didn't have a trial or anything. They didn't have a trial or anything. They didn't even know why they were incarcerated, so they burnt the prison down. Now that's being detained illegally since you need an example of it. Not this girl who goes across with some weed thinking she's slick and gets locked up for it. Now y'all calling for Russia to release her. Now do your time. Do your time. Yeah, yeah. Just like I had to do my time. Yeah, do your turn. Just like everybody here who gets caught doing something wrong got to do their time. But once again, it's all about y'all wanting to advance your careers. That's all it's about. That's all it's about. And it's sickening, man. Every time something goes on, as far as blacks go, first thing y'all want to do is jump on podiums, you know what I'm saying, and hoop and holler and, and this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Talk about how, oh, this is unjust. Oh, and this is encouragement. Let me ask you something. Why ain't none of y'all coming out speaking about this little group in Columbus, Ohio called the, uh, what's their name? The Game, the Game Over Kids. You know, most of y'all in Columbus, Ohio, y'all probably know what I'm talking about. That little group of kids that's running around carjacking and stealing everything that ain't tied down. That's killing people, carjacking people and doing this stuff and taking their cars just on a daily basis just to go do other crimes. The Game Over Kids, they all over social media. She ain't talking about that. Because that's not going to advance your career. But anyway, I digress, man. I just want to touch on this real quick, man. And uh, once again, man, if you like this content, you like the stuff that I'll ramble on about, man, go to the channel, Boomers Logic. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, do all that good stuff, man. And I'll see you on the next one.